Right. After OSI, let us start uh, understanding the subnetting part. Earlier, we learned that classes, we learned about loopback interface, sorry, loopback address, PIP address. Let us continue that, that particular addressing topic now. If you see, there's only 32 bit IP, IP address, IPv4 size is only 32 binary bit. It's only 32 binary bit bits, but we need to share it to the entire world. One of the important um, I can say the scheme that makes this possible is private address scheme. So we have some list of range considered as private range. I might have said this earlier. I'm just repeating this because it's important. So in the private range, you can take IP addresses as you like, and you can start communicating for which there is no cost involved. When I have like 100 computers in my office, all those 100 to communicate, there is no need to pay for the IP address. It's your own network. You just put IP address from the private scheme, like 10.0.0.0. And then 172.16.0.0 and then 192.168.0.0 so you can take any one of this and you can use it But whenever you want to go online, whenever you want to go talk to someone in the public network, you need a public identity. With a private address, you will not be able to communicate. So even in your house, you may have a name. That name is not there in the register. So with that name, you cannot take visa to any country. An official name is needed. The official name is needed for you to take visa. Likewise, a public IP address is needed in order to talk to the devices in the public domain. What are the public range of address? Everything other than this range. All other addresses are public. I don't think there is need to mention. Except this, all other are public. Fine, what is next? If I have given all the computers in my organization a private address starting with 10, all the computers have got 10. It's a private address. Now, if I want to talk to public, The ISP will give you an IP address, a public IP address, let's say that is 20.1.1.1. Now this 20.1.1.1 is for the entire office to communicate to the public. So you may have 1,000 
pieces here. All 1000 will use only just one address to talk to the entire world. So instead of spending 1000 IP address in one organization, just only one IP address is given, which is more than sufficient for this 1000 to communicate to the public. What is this called as? We call this as NATing, Network Address Translation, which we'll be seeing a bit later, not now. We have various types of NAT. Dynamic NAT, dynamic NAT, overloading, static NAT. So we just translate the private address into public sometime private to private, which we discussed in the earlier classes. I'm just revising. These are all the early classes I'm trying, trying to recall all those stuff. Now, we are getting into the new subject for the, for the day. One is subnetting. What is subnetting? When we have a big network, it will be difficult for us to manage. So we want to divide that big network into small networks for our convenience. That is one reason. See, another reason if you take any organization Different group of people have got different role to do exercise. Different people have got different role to exercise, different role to execute. Different people have got different role to do. Not everyone does the same job. So according to their role, they are classified under different departments. In another word, if I need to say, we have many departments. Even though you got only one organization, the departments are many. For one, for each organization, you may have like five departments, 10 departments, even in a small company, you will have a few departments front office, admin, sales, production. Small company, if you take also, you will have five departments minimum. I've seen such small companies. Many of my relatives run companies. They have at least five departments. Production, sales, testing, admin, finance so they need to be taken care separately that's why you have different departments but in the network if you don't have different segregation if you don't have different networks for each department then any any sales guy can see what is going on in the finance department. Network-wise, if you don't separate, there is no use of separating in department-wise. Department-wise, you separated people, but in the computer, you got, you got reachability to all department. What is the use? So, Departments need to be separated even in network. So we need to take one big network and subdivide it into as many departments as you got. Let's say in your organization, you decided to use 10 networks. 
10 is just one network, right? Mask is 255-000. This 10 is only one network. And your company have decided to use 10 network. Your company network is not just one network, many subnets, many departments. So you need to take this network, subdivide into many. We need to take this 10 network and divide it into many. Which means all the subnets will start with 10, but they will not be same. You're going to take 10. The fruit of a banana tree will not be mango. Fruit of banana tree will be banana. Subnet of 10 network will be subnets of 10. Subnets of 10 network will be subnets of 10. In another word, because this is masked, it will never change. So the change will occur somewhere here. When you do subnetting, the changes will be happening only on the host side, not on the network side. On the host side. Have you done subnetting before? Santosh? Okay, you you are able to follow. Do you follow up to now? You are following. Okay. Okay. So we were we were talking about departments. Let's say we got six departments, or even seven departments, or five departments. Let's say seven. Which means I want to divide this network into seven subnets. I want to divide this one network into seven subnets how we are going to do you see when we say masked when we say masked the doctorate you should not change you can you should not change it as nine or eleven it should be only ten if you have not masked, you have the privilege of changing it. You see, these octets are not masked. Now you got the privilege of doing it as per your wish. You can you can use that as host bit or you can use it as a network bit. By default, it is class A. Only 8 bit is network. The remaining 24 bit is host. That we already know. But now what I'm going to do is for the sake of networking, for the sake of submitting, I'm going to give some bits of host to be considered as bits of network. I'm going to give some host bit to be used as a network bit. That's how we do subnetting. If I need to tell in a simple language, we are going to borrow some bits from host to be considered as a network bit. Where should I borrow? Should I borrow here or here? See, network is always in the left, so you should borrow only from this direction. Maybe you should borrow from here, not from here. If you are if you are doing something related to host, then it should go from right to left. If you are talking something regarding host, then it should go like this. But when you are doing left network, it should be left to right. 
let me make it simple 10 network 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you see you got this 24 host bits and you have decided to borrow some bits from here for networking how many bits should i borrow how many bits should I borrow to get seven subnets so that I give I can give each subnet to each department? That is calculated using a formula two to the power of n minus one. where n is the number of bits that you are planning to borrow. This will give you number of subnets. What is the n? The small n stands for the number of bits that you are planning to borrow. Let's say I borrow only one bit. So 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. 2 to the power of 1 is to minus 1 means you don't get any subnets. What about 2 bit? 2 to the power of 2, n, n is 2, 2 bits. I'm planning to borrow 2 bits. Two to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which is 3. So three subnets I can get if I borrow two bits. Which is not sufficient because how many departments we got? We got seven departments. So let us now borrow three bit and see. Two to the power of three is to the power of 3 is 8, no? Seven. So 8 minus 1 is 7. You're right, 8 minus 1 is 7. So now we understood that we need 3 bits in order to get 7 subnets. So I'm going to, I'm going to take these 3 bits. See, earlier how many bits are there for subnetting? Sorry, for the network. By default, how many bits are given for network? 8 bit, isn't it? That's why you got 255. When you add all the place values of 8 bit, you will get 255. You agree that? I think you are in mute. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. This is 255. That's why you put 255 because all the 8 bits are given for network. That is what it means masked. Now, how many more bits you are giving for network? Just three more, not 8 bit. So what will be the new subnet mask? See, when you do subnetting, you are adding more bits to the default network. You have given three bits, so you have to add only this three. 128 plus 64 plus 32. It will be 224. Yes or no? 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224. So the new subnet mask will be 255 dot, 255 is coming from here, and additionally you added 3 bit from the second octet, so that is 224 dot 0 dot 0. This is the new subnet mask. How much of the bit that you are giving for network, those place values need to be added and given in the subnet mask. 
otherwise there is no use of there is no use of submitting there is no use of submitting even after submitting if you don't give the right submit mask it is equal to no submitting fine what i am going to do next is so far i have done two things one is for seven department how many bits we need we have found by using the formula 2 to the power of n minus 1 for seven department we found that we need three bits so if you have given three bit for network then that need to be assigned on the subnet mask that's what i have written 255.224.0.0 that has been apply to the subject mask. Now we are going to see those seven subnets. You see, when you have this three bit, what are the different probabilities that you got? You might have heard about these things in discrete mathematics or probability, something like that, when you are doing your degree. When I was in master's degree, I, I learned this thing. When three coins were tossed, all three tail, 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 head, tail, head, tail, tail, head, head. You know these things? Okay. Just yes. One, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There is no other possibilities. These are all the possibilities. Now all ones we won't take, okay? All ones we won't take. Now you see how many you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all. So this is for the first department. 10 dot in this place 0 dot 0 dot 0, sorry 0 0 0 which means 0. 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0. Second one. Here you put 1. What is the place value of this one? What is the place value of this one? 32 isn't it? So the next subnet will be 10.32.0.0. Next, you apply this one there. 0, 1, 0. What is the place value of this place? 64. So next department is 10.64.0.0. .0. Next, apply this one. 0, 1, 1. Do you follow what I'm saying? Now, if it is 1, 1, what will be the value? 64 plus 32, which will be 10.96.0.0. Next, 1, 0, 0, what is the value? 1, 0, 0. Exactly. Super. You're catching up. 10.128. Next, 101, which is 128 plus 32, which is 160, isn't it? Next, 110, which is 128 plus 64 is 192. No, I told you, you don't use this, but for some other reason, you should write it. 10.224.0.0. When all the three bits are on, we don't use it. So put on X mark, and you will know why I wrote it. So far, good. Did you understand up to now, up to this level? Now let us move on to the next level. You see, these are all the networks. And this is the subnet mask for those networks. For all the departments, the subnet mask is same, new subnet mask. 
255 or 224, how you got 224, those three bits you need to add zero. Now, first department, you give this one to the first department. The first IP will be 10.0.0.1. You know what will be the last IP? In that department, first IP is this. The last IP is 10. Dot, you see, the next network is 32. So 31.255.254. Why I put 254? Because for each department, there will be an address called broadcast IP, which will be 10.31.255.254. I want to repeat. When you make all the host bits on, you don't use it as an IP, you use it as a broadcast IP, what it is. Whenever you want to send a traffic to all devices in that network, you will send to this, this address. If I send any packet to this address, everyone in this department will receive. That is what we call as broadcast address. So always the last IP, you know, that is the broadcast IP. This is the last of this department, this network. How do I know it is last? Because you see, the next department is 32. If next department is 32, definitely it should be 31 here. Okay, now for the second department, the first IP is 10.32.0.1. What will be the broadcast? 10. Dot. What will be the broadcast? Exactly. 63.255.255. And then the last IP will be 10.63.255.254. Likewise, here 10.64.0.1, 10 10.96.0.1, 10.128.0.1, 10.160.0.1, 10.192.0.1. 10 10 the broadcast, listen, the broadcast. Here it will be 10 dot 95 dot. And what will be the broadcast of the previous, uh, the next one? For this, 10 dot 127. <coughs> and for this, hold on please. For this, For this, 10 dot 150, 9.255. Now, next, this one 10 dot 191.255.255. Dot dot now, you see the reason why I, I wrote this one is when I write this one, I will not make mistake. 10 dot 223 dot, you agree? I did not make mistake because I'm seeing the next one is 224. That's why you should, you should write this, but you should not use it. When all the bits are on, you should not use it. Did you get uh, the subnetting? I want I want you to quickly copy this. I'm going to give you an exercise. Let me go to the top. From here, you you copy from here. I'll be teaching this one more time. So as a homework, I'm going to give you this. Anyhow, I'm going to do this again in our next class. Uh, this is the network and we need, let's say, seven subnets. 
you need to find those seven subnets and you need to write same like what I have written. The new subnet mask, first you need to write the new subnet mask and then you need to write the subnets, first IP, last IP and broadcast IP for this question. Try, okay? Try and come. If you have a question, you can ask now. You don't have a question. So I'll